So this really cool tree here is Prosopis glandulosa. The common name is Texas honey mesquite. Texas honey mesquite is a great desert tree. These occur all over. Prosopis glandulosa occurs all over North America from Mexico up into Canada. If you're driving through the hill country of central Texas, you'll see big giant mesquite trees. If you're driving through the scrubby deserts of southern New Mexico and the sand hills, you'll see mesquite tree bushes. It's the same plant. Once it's established, it can handle months and months worth of drought and doesn't need to be irrigated, especially if it's in a rainwater harvesting landscape. Properly pruned and trained for your landscape, it, it can become the centerpiece or you know the big shade tree of the yard with a canopy reaching 30 feet plus and its height reaching maybe 20 feet, 25 feet, but a broad spreading canopy that offers a lot of densely filtered shade. In the springtime, it produces these sort of inconspicuous flowers on what's called a catkin. This little droopy pendulum filled with 100 flowers or so. And so those little individual flowers all then bloom up. The fruit becomes this bean pod. And as this fruit matures and ripens, it'll swell out and get filled with these cool little beans and it becomes tan and the bean pods are edible and you can just pull them off the tree. Once they're dry, you can just pull them off the tree and chew on them and eat them. Or you can grind them up and make a meal out of them. And in any of your recipes, you can substitute the mesquite meal for flour. Really, really tasty and nutritious. Of course, mesquite is the wood of choice for Texas barbecue, you know, Amen. mesquite smoked wood. And so this is that tree right here.